Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for Notebooks.com and I'm back today with another Mac video tutorial. Today's topic is how to resolve the startup disk is full error that you sometimes get on your Mac. Now if you've been using a Mac for a while, chances are you've probably had this message come up quite a few times during your years of usage. And what this error message essentially is telling you is the hard drive is almost full. More importantly, it's letting you know that the hard drive you use for the operating system is almost full, and that's why the word startup disk is being used. If you go to About This Mac and then click the Storage tab, you should be able to get a quick bird's eye view of what's taking up space on your hard drive, and if you want even more details, you can click Manage to open up the system profiler and have it broken down for you by category. This is definitely a good way to quickly get an eye view of what's taking up storage on your hard drive, and a good first step besides this is to simply empty the trash can to make sure that any information that's been lying there dormant is deleted and reclaimed. I I do like this method of finding out what's on your drive, but this does not always show you corrupted files or different file types that might be bloated unnecessarily and you could in fact delete them. And there's a great application I've used over the years called Disk Inventory X that is a third party free application that's available to you and it will quickly and graphically show you what's on your hard drive in a similar way that System Profiler does, but giving you information about the file types that the profiler may not detect. This application has been around for quite a few years, but I find myself continuously coming back to it because of its ease of showing you what is on the hard drive in a very easy to read graphical format and shapes that you can click and actually delete right from the graphical view. Process usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes per hard drive that you check, so the video version here has definitely been accelerated, but once you're finished, you should be able to see different block sizes in different colors representing the different types of media that are on your hard drive. The bigger the block, the more space that it's actually taking up, so things like Final Cut libraries or Photos libraries that are bigger in size will definitely appear as bigger blobs on the screen. Clicking any of these different colored images will show you information about that given file, including where it's located and how much storage space is actually being used by that file type. If you perform a right click function on any of those shapes, you can actually move them to the trash. And this is a little bit better than what System Profiler shows you in the sense that that will give you an idea of where the files are and what types are actually taking up storage, but it doesn't give you the opportunity to actually move it to the trash. So apps like this are definitely useful for actually reclaiming that lost storage space and getting you back on track to use your computer for what you'd like. Hope you found this helpful. We'll talk to you soon.